In this video, we'll demonstrate how to install an AFCI outlet. To avoid personal injury or property damage, before wiring or installing the device, you must turn off power at circuit breaker or fuse. If you're unsure about any part of these instructions, consult an electrician. To begin, we must first shut off the power at the existing outlet. To accomplish this, plug an electrical device, such as a lamp, into the outlet on which you're working, and turn the lamp on. Then, go to your service panel, find the circuit breaker or fuse that protects that outlet, and turn it off. The lamp will turn off. Next, remove the plug and insert it into the second outlet to ensure that the power is off at both outlets. Now that the power is completely off, you can remove the outlet. It is important that the AFCI outlet is installed at the first outlet in the circuit in order to ensure downstream protection to the remaining outlets in the circuit. If you are not certain which outlet is the first outlet, please refer to the installation instructions included with the product. So let's begin by identifying cables and wires. It is important not to install the AFCI in an electrical box containing more than four wires not including the grounding wires, or cables with more than two wires, not including the grounding wire. If you see either of these scenarios in the electrical box you are working on, contact an electrician. Now, we first need to identify the line and load wires. We are basing this process on a box that has four wires and a separate ground wire. To do this, detach one white wire and hot wire from the outlet and cap each one separately with the wire connector. Make sure that they are from the same cable. Reinstall the receptacle in the electrical box, attach the wall plate, and restore the power at your service panel. Determine if power is flowing to the outlet. If it is, the capped wires are the load wires. If not, the capped wires are the line wires. In this instance, the outlet is powered, so the line wires are connected. Turn the power off at your service panel, label the line and load wires, and then remove the outlet. Now we can continue with the installation. We begin by connecting the line cable wires to the line terminals. The white wire connects to the silver colored terminal. The black wire connects to the brass colored terminal. Now let's connect the load wires to the load terminals. First. Remove the yellow sticker to reveal the load terminals. The white wire connects to the silver colored terminal. The black wire connects to the brass colored terminal. Next, connect the green or bare copper wire to the grounding terminal on the AFCI. If your box has a grounding terminal, also connect a similar wire to the grounding terminal on the box. To complete the installation, we will fold the wires into the box keeping the grounding wire away from the white and hot terminals. Then, screw the outlet to the box and attach the wall plate. The AFCI outlet is now ready for use. Let's conduct a quick test of our work. Plug the lamp into the AFCI. Restore the power at the service panel. Ensure that the AFCI is still in the tripped condition by pressing the test button. Press the reset button fully. If the lamp turns on and the indicator light turns on, the AFCI has been installed correctly. Remember that it is important to test your AFCI monthly by pressing the test button. When you do, the green LED will turn off. Press the reset button and the green LED will come back on. For more information about AFCI outlets from Leviton, visit www.leviton.com. Levitin.com slash AFCI.